Hey folks, this is Vent with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out Dice Hunter. This is a free-to-play game that I have on my iPhone. Thought I'd show it to you because I'm actually enjoying it so far. Basically, it's a dice-rolling dungeon delver of sorts. It's not going to live up to Slay the Spire, but for a mobile game, it's not half bad. So this is your main screen. Upper left-hand corner is your energy. Like most Facebook games, you're required to use energy in order to do anything. And if you run out of energy, you can pay for more or you just simply have to wait. You've got an XP bar on the top middle. You've got some coins. You've got some gems. Gems being the premium currency that, again, you can purchase with real money. Not something I enjoy doing. I don't do it, but it's there if you want to do it. On the right-hand side are various things that you can interact with, different menus. I didn't unlock them all yet, so I couldn't show them all to you. But starting in the upper right-hand corner, there's a little cube button, which I just tapped. And I can spend 50 gems here to hunt for more dice characters, and I'll explain that in a minute. You do seem to get free dice hunts every time you level up, but I'm only level 4, so maybe that'll stop at some point in time. Let's go back. I'm going to tap on the horn next, which is right underneath the cube. Quests. This is where you can complete quests to earn gems and coins and XP. For example, defeat 15 enemies by using dice skills. I'll claim that. Done. And then a new one will come out. There we go. So there's a bunch of different quests that I can try and do in order to get more currency. There's other, also other tabs along the bottom. I'm not showing you these because this seems to be more lore than anything else. So uh, I guess if you want to read these, you can, but I don't really care. Okay, calendar. This is where you get your login bonuses. I'm sure that Get 2x Rewards has something to do with watching an ad or some nonsense. So we'll skip that as well. Bottom right-hand corner is where you go to level up your dice characters. So whenever you go on a dice hunt, you earn these dice characters. Um, I've got three right now. I've got this slime, I've got this wizard guy in the middle, and I've got this spider-looking thing in the upper right-hand corner. And they've also got levels, too. So um, if I tap on one, um, they can level up. If you, if you look on the very bottom of the screen, it says level up for 75 coins. So I can tap that. And now his attack, defense, and HP just got stronger. And your cap is based on your personal level cap on the very top middle. So it's not like you can just keep leveling these up. If I try to up upgrade this guy again, it says requires player level 5. So I'm not there yet. But I can, I can upgrade these guys, make them more powerful. Spend all my coins to do so, obviously. There's also a way to evolve them. I'm assuming it's by getting cards of the same type during a dice hunt like if i got another gray widow great gray widow here i'm assuming i can combine them somehow and then evolve them but i haven't gotten to that level or that far in the game yet to be able to do that but you'll note that there's different rarities there's star rarities on each card the slime and the spider have one gold star while this wizard has three so obviously the wizard is my best character right now uh, and as you can see there are more dice characters to collect and they've got different symbols on the dice too like that orc looking guy on the right has four swords and two shields whereas the one that was immediate left i don't know what those are those look like <laughs> gremlins i don't know uh, but there's two swords two shields and two energy symbols but anyway so long story short go on missions level up improve your dice characters and so on and let's go on a mission now you can you can replay previous levels in order to grind out XP. I'm going to go ahead and do that by tapping on the three here. Um, you can see your current level on that bar from the red to green. Uh, I've got 162. Recommended power is 114. So I'm overpowered for this level. But I again, you can replay to get experience and um, that way you don't get frustrated. Okay, so the way this works is each of these enemies has health in, in the form of hearts underneath their portrait. 
Um, I've got six dice. Um, I've got three of the special dice on top, three of the basic dice, but I'll be able to replace those basic dice with more characters as I earn them in Dice Hunt. So right now I've only got three special characters. They each have special abilities. Um, the green one, that slime, if I get 18 points, I can uh, use his special ability. Um, if I hold, if I tap and hold, you can see what the green slime can do. Corrode. Remove three points of armor from the target, then deal one damage to it. Armor probably isn't in this level, but armor is represented by uh, blue shields on these various characters. My um, wizard, I can click and drag, choose a target. Do three damage immediately. Not too bad. And then this guy here, this Grey Widow, stun all enemies in a 2x2 two two area. Okay, so basically you roll dice, the dice resolve, and then whoever isn't stunned will hit you. If it's a melee character, if it's a melee enemy, they have to be in the bottommost row. If it's a range, they'll just hit you from range. But let's go ahead and just drag and roll. Sometimes your attack dice will attack twice. That's a chance that you'll get. It's a random thing. The stars and the electric symbols, they don't mean anything right now, except that they give you points towards your upgrade or your uh, powers. Again, each character has a power, the slime, the wizard. As you get more of those, you'll um, increase your special power charge. And then once the charge is full, you can use it again. So I've got 1 out of 18 for the 1, 4 out of 20 for the middle, and 4 out of 18 for the, the rightmost spider dice. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that again. If you get 4 of a kind or something like that, you'll gain some free health, which is nice. The shields give you a shield for that turn. Nothing too fancy. It helps protect you. Whenever enemies drop down a level, they are stunned and cannot attack. You can also target specific characters by tapping on them. So if I want to attack this archer guy first, I can do that. I can't seem to target more than one at a time. Like, I can't go, okay, attack this one first, then this one, then this one. No, I, 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 can, only, I can only assign damage to one, and then the computer seems to just dole out damage to whoever thinks needs to be killed. Most of the time, though, it's pretty smart about who it attacks. The little red one on these wizards that you're looking at, those are special powers. Whenever they count down and on the, to one, that means on the next turn they will activate their special ability. You can tap and hold, and you can see that they do a lightning bolt for 83 damage if I let them do it. So I want to kill them. Um, you can also lock in dice. On the bottom left-hand corner, there's a, a five, a number. You get one free lock every roll. So um, I may want to use one. Basically, you can lock down a die by tapping on it. It'll stay that way during that roll, sort of like in Yahtzee. Good thing I did that. Got some shields, but not a whole lot of attack. All right, everyone's stunned, so no one attacked me. All right, I'm going to go ahead and lock in two of these swords and roll again. Nice, five of a kind. Everyone drops down, they become stunned. Um, let's lock in more dice. Not great. Oh, some of them turned into double attacks, which is great. Again, that's a random chance kind of thing. Sort of like a critical roll, if you will. Alright, um, I think I don't have to lock in anything. As long as I get two swords, I'll be fine. Yeah. I think that's overkill there. Alright, so my special powers are almost charged, so we'll be using them again soon. I'm going to go ahead and lock in another sword, another sword. I'm going to try and kill these as quickly as possible if I can. Took some hits. All right, now my uh, wizard's power is charged, so I'm going to go ahead and drag that to this up here. 
and we'll roll again. A lot of shields, not too bad. All right, now those wizards are probably going to get off a hit on me with those electric. I mean, he's got one left. Unless I can stun, if, unless I can kill these archers and make them drop down one. Let's go ahead and and target the archer first. I'm going to go ahead and lock in these swords. That's not bad. Three. Oh, two criticals. Nice. And I'm going to lock in... There's only two enemies left per the upper left, so I'm just going to lock in two swords, and that'll be that. At the end of every level, you'll get some chests. Collect the treasure. Nothing too fancy. Since I've replayed this level, those chests aren't all that great. But usually the first time you play, you get some good stuff. All right, and that is Dice Hunter. Again, that is a free-to-play game that is available on my iPhone, probably on Android, too. If you guys want to see more gameplay, let me know. If you guys haven't already, subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I have to publish. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.